Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today we're going to talk about the like clause. The like match condition is used to match values that fit a specified pattern. So unlike the equals comparison operator, which requires an exact match, we can use the like clause to match um, partial values on a field. So for instance, we can say that we want to find all rows that where the first name begins with the letter R. So before we get begin, I think it would be useful to show you all the um, first and last names in the employees table since we're going to use this for many of our examples. And you can see here that we got um, you know four records and as we go through the um, the filtering exercises you'll see that change. So going back to my initial thing where I talked about how we could pattern match uh, first names that begin with the letter R. Let me show you how that can be done. So I'm going to bring in a new statement. Whoops. Run that again. So I brought in a statement and you'll see the one thing that's different here is is we have in our where clause this like command and then also you're going to see where it says like R and then percent. So what this really is saying is is that I want to bring in every record where the first name begins with R and then matches any number of characters after that. So in English, this is really, this R percent is really saying is uh, basically names that begin with the letter R. So if, if I run that, you're going to see it just comes back with Robert Smith. So you might go, well, what's the big deal about that? Because, you know, really, I could also run a query to just set to bracket the names and, and come back with everything that begins with R alphabetically by running a query where I get the la where the first name is uh, greater than or equal to R and and that the first name is less than S. That's the same thing as basically saying give me everything that has a, a name beginning with R. When I run that, of course I get the same result. But the true power of the pattern matching isn't necessarily finding patterns at the beginning of the word it's finding patterns within the column or word or at the end so a good good illustration of this is what about if i wanted to find first names that ended in the letter s how would i do that well there's really no easy way to do that with like greater than or equals as as we know it however by using the like clause I could say select first name, last name from employees where first name like percent s. And what this is saying is, is match any number of characters and the last character being s. So this would match um, words like Wolverines, um, but not Sam. So when I run this, you'll see that. It comes back with James White because his last name or first name ends in S. So really, in, there are there are um, several operators that we can use for pattern matching. As you've seen, the percent sign is one of the um, most widely used, and it basically means match any character. So percent sign is match zero or more characters, and then there's the underscore. So um, that match exactly one character. And these can be used um, together in the same expression. So a good example of this may be if I'm, if I'm looking for a, uh, a phone number. So let's say that I'm, I want to look for all um, phone numbers that are uh, toll free. So in the United States, they'd be like the 1-800 numbers. So I could actually have a pattern that says select company name phone from shippers where phone like percent and then bracket 800 percent. What this brings back, of course, are then nicely well-formed phone numbers, you know, that match the 1-800. But if I do a, a select um, phone from shippers, just to show you all the numbers there, you're going to see that we actually missed a couple 1-800 numbers. There's these 1-800 dash that got uh, missed. So I can actually combine patterns together to refine them and 
cast a wider net. So in this case, I can say I want to match 1-800 numbers like, that are within parentheses or that are immediately um, preceded with a dash. And now I get all the numbers. But you could say, well, why don't you just do a where clause like where um, phone like percent 800, right? Because that, that would also cover that case. Well, the reason I didn't do that is, is that what happened if I had a phone number like um, 437 That would actually get picked up in this like clause because of the 800. And that's really not a 1-800 number. So the beauty of pattern matching is, is that it allows you to cast a wide net over the data to retrieve the information you wish. But the um, converse of that is, is that you have to really understand what you're what you're trying to cut out, and you and you need to kind of hone the knife a little bit so that you're not pulling in uh, more matches than than you uh, anticipate. So I, I hope you enjoyed this lesson today on pattern matching. The blog post has has more text around um, this concept, and I would really recommend that you read that. And if you have any questions, you know, please leave a comment on the blog. Or if you'd like, you can also um, tweet me at sql.chris. Thanks. Bye.